slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our brother Muhammad Ibrahim rahmatullah alayhi. And I will start from one of them, only for two minutes, three minutes maximum, to say few words, what is their feeling regarding him. We all know that he has done a big service for the community, for the humanity, and for the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is why there is so much feeling when he has passed away and he has left this world and has started his journey towards the next world. I will request both of them to come forward, our brother John Taylor and our counselor Toby as well. Please come here. No, no, no. I will start from requesting our brother John Taylor. Brother Ibrahim, when he started his political life, when he entered the city council and he became a councillor, and his colleague with him at that time, if I'm not wrong, it was our brother John Taylor. And to be true, from that time up to now, I'm standing in the masjid, and I'm saying very openly, I feel he is part of our society and our community. Whenever we needed any help, he is there to help us. And particularly, any issue with the Muslim community, certainly the wider community, plus we are talking, any issue with the Muslim community, with Madani Master, with Jami al Huda, whenever, wherever, if I wrong him, he even does not allow the bell to go to the <coughs> third bell, the phone. And then straight away he responds. Even he does not need any of our help. But may Allah give him reward for it. I will request him because I promise with him that 20 pass we will allow you to go. He has to reach somewhere of us for. So to say a few words regarding him. Whilst it's with sadness that I'm here today with all of you, as Brother Ibram has passed away, I know we can all take some solace from the fact that he died in peace, surrounded by his family and those he knew and who loved him the most. And the mark of the respect with which he was held is demonstrated by so many of you here this afternoon to pay those passing respects. I first knew Ibrahim in 1986, well over 30 years ago, and as Raja has said, Ibrahim and I were first elected as councillors for the old Forest Ward in May the 6th, 1987. And I've counted him as a close friend a political colleague, a confidant, ever since that date. I know that uh, Ibrahim was most proud of his year as Lord Mayor of Nottingham. When we embarked upon a, a journey to Pakistan and Kashmir, and Ibrahim was able to establish as Lord Mayor, the first Pakistani Lord Mayor, Pakistani Kashmiri Lord Mayor of Nottingham, the links between our town here in Nottingham and Muzaffarabad in Kashmir. I know how very proud he was to be your representative, the first Kashmiri politician in Nottingham to hold the distinguished office of Lord Mayor. But it wasn't just 
the office he held, it was the person he was that was important. Ibrahim was a man of grace, of dignity, of civility and integrity. He was a calmed, reasoned counsellor when things were difficult and pressured. And surely he represents the passing of a generation, that first generation of your brothers, your fathers, who came from Kashmir here to United Kingdom and blazed a trail that the rest of you now enjoy. They had it very difficult. It wasn't easy. <coughs> but surely they worked so hard and they made a good life for the community and their family. I will miss Ibrahim. He, he was a great friend. But I know that his memory will live on and his family can stand tall knowing what a great figure he was here in Nottingham. I'll miss him so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, <coughs> John. Now I will request when he was having to have the office of Lord Mayor, it was the first time in the history that in council house the Lord Mayor had his Imam appointed there. And he did the Talawat of quran e Majid the first time in the history of city of Nottingham. Arat Maulana Aurangzeb Sahib to come and say a few words who was his official Imam for the Nottingham City Council. His Maulana. Time? Councillor Ibrahim, ex Lord Mayor, is a very close uh, friend of the family, <clears throat> uh, very close to my father. Um, my father respected him uh, enormously. Um, since I was a child, uh, when we first purchased the Pakistan Centre in 1977, um, used to go there for supplementary classes, and that's where, in, in, in fact, even before that, uh, when we'd first come to England, and we used to live at Kilburn Street, uh, and I used to go to Huntington Street, his uh, son, Amin, uh, and I were in the same class uh, in the junior school, so that's how far back our relationship and our link go with the family. Um, so over 45 years. Uh, John knew him for 30 years, I think I know him more than that, 45, 46 years. He's a fantastic gentleman, like John said, he had uh, this aura about him, extremely calm, dignified, uh, well respected, and I don't think I can ever remember him losing his cool or getting angry, um, always uh, he treated myself as, as his uh, family, basically, every time I met him. But a lot of respect for him at Pakistan Centre. And when he did become Lord Mayor, I was absolutely honoured um, that he asked me to act as his um, Imam uh, for a year. I think he became Lord Mayor the second time. Twice? Just once? Just once. Oh, it was uh, Councillor Munir the, the following time when he became um, Lord Mayor that asked me to become Imam. So, uh, we will miss him dearly, um, and just the number of people that are present here today at his funeral, uh, at, at his burial <laughs> yesterday, it's a testimony uh, to the type of character that he was, and everybody has to go, everybody has to taste death, um, it's something that there is no difference of opinion amongst anybody, any religions, any faiths, everybody has to go, but if you go, uh, having done what uh, Uncle Ibrahim has done, uh, it's, it's, it's something to be very, very proud of. And as John said, his family can you know, hold their heads up high. He was a really, really honorable 
and, and a really nice gentleman, good human being, we all must confirm, because all try to follow in his footsteps. Sure. Um, Jazakumullah khairan Hazrat Maulana. Aurangzeb Sahab. By the way, when he appointed Maulana Aurangzeb Sahab, I told him, by the way, I told him, by the way, I told him, Imam the Mayor. And he told me, Maulana Sahab, you know it's a matter of English. You know, his English is very good. I said, I was joking with him. And uh, he was a great person, Wallah. Allah knows he was a great person. I will request one of his, another colleague, and I have been asked, you know, by the family members, to give opportunity to two, three brothers, and his colleague, and who has been working with him since long, 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 our brother Riyasasa, to say a few words, please. <laughs> It's uh, with great sadness to say a few words on the loss of a very good friend. It's not only my personal friend, but I'm talking about the friend of community. He has served this community with utmost efforts and a dignity and compassion. I feel that uh, I was one of the persons who actually is, uh, was <laughs> instrumental in introducing Ibrahim Saab into the community uh, work arena and eventually in, we joined political party together. And from then on, we, are, we did not look back what we did when what we couldn't do or what we could do. So we actually um, stood together, and I can't remember that in any particular um, important issue, Ibrahim and myself has consulted each other on many occasions, and I, I can't see that uh, in, in any way, if, uh, if sometime, I, we feel that maybe there is a difference between my view and uh, Ibrahim's view and I, I see his wisdom that he would, if he wants to go somewhere in, a, in a, a political area where I feel that I, he shouldn't have been going and but he would he would always consult me beforehand but on on particular area where there is think that there may be a, some conflict between us and a disagreement he would go on his own and he will do it and then tell me he says, you, you, I'm, I'm telling you that I've done this and I can't remember anything that we have disagreed or we have uh, lost tempers or, or uh, anything. So all in all, I'm uh, very proud that he is our uh, community's such an uh, important leader who left his uh, very good legacy for us to follow. And uh, as I, a lot of other people have said, his family stands high and uh, his, his family is really proud of him and we are also pr proud of him and I, I pray to Allah that he, Allah may grant him a place in Jannah and, uh, uh, and his family should uh, bear the, the loss of uh, Council Ibrahim. Thank you very much. And again, on the request of the family, uh, we I'm seeing since last three days, one of his friends, he is sitting here on this, you know, in this corner for the Taziyat. And he is our brother, Councillor Savir Rajput One, two minutes, please. Kindly Savir Rajput Sahib. I to Tasveer Yaakme. Okay, Sale Swap Kiri Lakabul for my Sale Sati, you know, then my hipper got there. Swell of 
سوال کا ذکر کر رہے ہیں میرے بزرگوں کا جو دوستوں ہم جس مقصد کے لیے حاضر ہوئے ہیں آج یہ ابراہیم صاحب ہمارے کاؤنسلر سب کا لوٹ بیر اور میرا تعلق ان سے نائنٹی تری سے رہا جب وہ لوٹ بیر بنے ہیں یہاں کے حضر بھائی بیٹھے ہوئے ہیں جب ہماری ملاقات ہوئی نائنٹی تری میں اور اس دن سے لے کے آج تک انہیں یہ فیملی کی طرح رہے ہیں اور میں اس کا ایک بات نہ کر سکوں لیکن ایک بات میں آپ اس طرح سے کہنا چاہتا ہوں آپ کے سامنے کہ میرے والد اپا آرمی میں تھے اور جب ریٹائر ہو تو امام مسجد تھے وہ اور فوت ہو گئے اور جب سے میں نوٹی کم میں آیا ہوں تو مجھے اپنے والد کی کمی محسوس نہیں ہوئی اور وہ اتنے ہیں میں وہ کیا کہوں وہ بیمار ہیں اور ان کو ڈاکٹر نے کہا کہ آپ کے دن توڑے ہیں اور اس بیماری کے حال میں بندہ اپنے بارے میں سوچتا ہے تو آپ کو پتا ہے کہ یہ الیکشن کا رات پہ ایک مہینے چل رہے ہیں اور مجھے وہ کہتے ہیں کہ میں آپ کے لئے دفعہ کر رہا ہوں اپنے بیماری کو پور کے وہ میرے لئے دفعہ کر رہے ہیں اور میں بہت بیٹا ہوں کے لئے دفعہ کر رہا ہوں میں اس سے زیادہ کہہ کر ساتھ ہوں اتنے عصیب آپ میں کوئی اس دنیا کے لائے نہیں کہ میں سنتا ہوں کہ وہ کسی اور دنیا کے آدمی تھے اللہ تعالیٰ وہ چند کا انسی پر ہے یہاں مولونا حضرت صاحب بیٹھے ہوئے ہیں اور میں سنتا ہوں کہ جتنا پیار محبت انہوں نے مجھے سکھایا ہے مجھے گائٹ کیا ہے بڑھو کی عزت کرنا چھوٹے سے پیار کرنا اور رسول صاحب بیٹھے ہیں مجھے اتنا اسلام کا پتہ نہیں ہے لیکن میرا ایک نوحان کہتا ہے کہ جس طرح سے انہوں نے عبادت کی ہے جس طرح سے ان کا لوگوں کے ساتھ اٹھنا بیٹھنا رہا ہے ان کا مقام جنت میں ہوگا اللہ کے فصل کرم سے اور آپ بھی دعا کریں میں بھی دعا کروں گا My dear brothers, sisters, this time is not to make the big speeches. It's only just one, two, three minutes to remember him. And may Allah give everyone reward for listening to us. And towards the end, I will say, Allah knows best. He was a great person. He served the community a lot. As I have mentioned before, on the day at the time of Janaza, that I have met many, many people, and I was thinking that these people, they do not even know Councillor Ibrahim. And I asked them, how did you sort this matter out? Then they said, you know the Uncle Ibrahim, he helped me. Men, women all different groups and even they were not from this area from his ward whoever was coming to him he was trying to make sure that he tries his best to help that person whoever that person is in our area our brother john taylor he knows very well master khadam sir when he passed away, there was an Arab brother standing in that near the pillar after the janaza, and he was crying loudly. He was saying, today I feel my father has passed away. It is not a little comment. And to be true, my dear brothers, Brother Ibrahim has told us practically through the practice that live and remember, if you want to live after your life, then you need to serve the humanity in Allah's creation. Allah ki makhluk ki madad karein, serve karein, Allah paak aapko zinda rakhe. And that is, I read once a story, Ibrahim Adham, a great wali, rahmatullah alayhi, that he was sleeping, and he got up, he saw the light in the room, he went in. I got that story. And he saw one person is sitting and writing the names. 
and he asked, what are you writing and who are you? This is my home. He said, I am an angel. What are you writing? I am writing the names of those people who love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And a long list. He said, is my name there? He checked one, two, three, all the list. He said, sorry, no. And he was great wali Allah. A great person. He was disappointed that I am not up to that standard. The next day again, midnight, he opened his eyes and he saw someone again in that room, light is on, goes the same person, the same angel, what are you doing? He said, I am writing the names of those people who Allah loves, that Allah Ta'ala loves them. He said, is my name there? He checked. And he said, oh, your name is number one. And the reason that those people who love the Allah's creation, Allah loves them. And this is the message which Brother Ibrahim has given to us. And inshallah, we will take. Inshallah. inshallah. And remember, my dear brothers, when we are in this country, it's not that I will see it's a Pakistani, then I will support him. It's a Muslim, then I will support him. No. Allah's creation and human being. That's it. That is the standard that we need to support every human being, whoever needs help and support. Inshallah, we will do it. And he has told us that this is our country and we need to serve our country properly. Remember, we have left our countries back. Now they are not our country. We are British. We need to serve our this country. There is no question that we can have the differences with our, with our governments, with their policies. And we can talk loudly, no question about it. But we have got no difference on this, that this is our country and we love this country as Ibrahim has loved and served this country, we will serve this country as well, inshallah. My dear brothers, at the end, 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 I will request his children, Amin, Yasin, and Zaheer, his brothers, brother Walai, Dr. Aslam Saab, I requested him that please say a few words and he started crying. He said, I can't say anything. I can't say anything. Please, you request on our behalf to all the brothers who are here, including our these guests as well, that please, please make dua for him. And we are really grateful that you supported us. And my dear brothers, his children, his brothers, brother Shafiq, he has done a great service at this time. <coughs> brother Khizar, brother Ilyas, all the family, everyone and his friends, his colleagues, they have done a very big service and I'm sure we will carry on doing this service after him. And I will request all the young ones, please, do you want to send the swap to him or not? Yes, everyone, make a commitment, inshallah, we will start praying, we will not miss any salat. Inshallah, inshallah, towards the end, end, one, two minutes, his colleague, Councillor Toby, I forgot his other name, whatever that name is, I remember him when he was fighting the election in another ward and we were distributing the leaflets. And when he, you lost it but we won it. Because we did a very big job for you. And since he is our counselor, I have not seen him in Madani Master. I will complain publicly. Yeah. I am sure that now Ibrahim has gone, now you need to take care of those people who were failing at home when they were going to Brother Ibrahim. Yes, Brother Toby. Thank you.
Chris. Uh, it's, a, it's a real honour to be able to say something. Um, I think uh, I think the best thing that highlights uh, uh, Ibrahim in, in my memory is that uh, when I first stood for election in Berry's ward, I know he wasn't that keen on having me as his running mate, um, but um, he, he never let, let, let it um, show through. And like, um, like a lot of people trying to make an impression, I used to jump into things and do things and make a lot of noise and he'd give me advice and he'd say, yeah, maybe you want to think about that and stuff like that. And usually I'd get it wrong and he'd gently nudge me and say, I told you so, now do you want to pay attention to what I've got to say? Um, and over the years, we, 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 we sort of worked together really well. And, and despite his reservations, you know, he, he was always free with his advice and he always made an effort to make sure that um, I understood what he was trying to say to me without being patronising, without being condescending. It was about his generosity of spirit. It was about the fact that he felt that it was, um, it, he had stuff that he wanted to pass on and I respected that and I, I, I learned to, to understand that he was someone who didn't need to feed his ego. He didn't need to feel big about anything. What his motivation was was to make sure that the best job was done for whoever it was. And that would sometimes include me. And, you know, I'm grateful for that. Um, it is with sadness that we meet here today. But I have to say, there's a bit of joy in all of this as well, because I've heard some stories about him that I hadn't heard before. And he had, he had this little snarky sense of humour as well. So he would enjoy just ribbing you about things. Um, and making sure that uh, if you got it wrong, he made sure you knew you got it wrong, and then he'd help you make sure, understand, you wouldn't get it wrong next time. Um, so, you know, it is with sadness, but it is with, you know, many good memories of working with him over the last eight years. But, but um, that I, I, I just want to say a few words to tell about him. I know you've all got your own experiences of him, um, and I think that will feed, um, you know, moving forward, so that the sadness will be overtaken by a sense of, you know, joyful memories of somebody who meant a lot to everybody. So. Finish there and just say, you know, in memory of Ibrahim, um, he was, he, for me, he was a good guy and he was a guy that made a big impression. Um, and I don't think he would have gone. Thank you. I've got a very big list that since the last two, three days, how much. People have cared about him. Seventy two Quran images. That is one. And at the end, it's another maybe fifty seven full Quran images as well. A lot of Quran which was read to send the swap to him. Uncounted Ayatul Kursi, Kula Sharif. First Kalma, Dhru Sharif, Surah Mulk, and thousands of the time, Aitul Karima, 426 times Surah Yaseen, and many more people have written here and given that they have read as well. And to be true, my dear brothers, few days ago, I finished my Quran, which I Everyone reads, and I usually make dua straight away and send the swap to everyone who has passed away. But this time I delayed it, and I did not know why I delayed it. And now I know why I delayed it. That Allah Taala wanted me to send the swap to our brother Ibrahim. So all the brothers once again read once Surah Fatiha three times. And sisters as well, and then inshallah we will make the walk.